morning I woke up and I had this burning desire to go and take my laptop and just sit in a cafe with a coffee and power through a lot of work. Um, I actually find I work get more work done out of the office than in the office, so changing the environment makes a huge difference to my efficiency. Anyway, I sat through that desire and um, I Rocco, who's actually just made me a homemade coffee, um, and he's made himself a baby chino as well. Okay, so one of the ways that I managed to save money um, off my like upfront monthly grocery bill is to stretch like my products out to make them last a little bit longer. And one of the things I've been doing is, as Rocco's got here, is not using as much laundry powder. So really looking at the instructions and looking how dirty the clothes really are. Um, obviously putting them on a quick cold cycle, but. Um, not having to feel the obligation to fill the scoop up to the top. Now that is surprisingly stretching my like laundry powder um, usage out and I'm really impressed that that's a lot less than we'd normally use. So just a little frugal trip that might help ease well your um, uh, your shopping bills. Even the petrol? No. As you guys know I save $50 by being a Bit more careful on my um, upfront monthly grocery shop. I did things like swapped for swap brands, trying different brands that are more cost effective, looking at the measurement um, cost per measurement, um, also like looking at what was already in my pantry and fridge and freezer and seeing what I could stretch out, mm -hmm. buying like the deli items over the pre packaged items, um, cutting out no mineral water. Um, not no any no juices or fruits or fizzy drinks or anything like that not that i buy that really that anyway because it's a waste of money but the mineral water it was definitely banned and then also oh hang on a second monkey um and then also like i cut down a lot on like animal protein so um not as much meat like barely any meat at all um uh -huh. only one serving of fish like really focusing on like healthy um cost-effective meals now I say $50 by doing this and so because remember we want to make sure we put the money consciously away so we don't accidentally spend our savings so I grabbed $50 out of my um, ATM my using my ATM card out of my savings account and that savings I'm putting in the money tin okay so I just dropped Rocco at school normally I'd go and grab a coffee and some banana bread but I didn't However, I'm feeling a little bit stressed this morning. I've got so much work on my plate and I'm feeling anxious. So I'm, what I've decided to do is prioritize some me time and get some exercise done. Um, I've just come down to my local park and I'm gonna do a workout in the sun, um, get some vitamin D, let the dogs run around and hopefully burn off all this nervous energy. Then I can head back to the office, put my head down, bum up and power through a lot of work that needs to get done for the day. So I just finished, I just did 20 minutes, that's all. I did outside in the fresh air, in the sunlight, and you can see the workout like area behind me. That workout cost me absolutely nothing. And I think I had a good workout because I think I strained a muscle under my armpit, it really hurts. <laughs> but I feel good, now. I feel clear in the head, ready just to get into my workload. Okay, so I'm off to work. I have spent no money so far. I have leftover dinner from last night which is actually vegetarian not vegan because there's halloumi in here but really yummy and healthy and um i'm sharing a banana with tom so um yeah saving money for everyone we are being really naughty um for little february just got to put this stuff um we're splurging it feels a bad influence and i forgot a long time ago we booked George, yes. St. George, Moonlight Cinema, and we're seeing porn. We're seeing Fifty Shades of Grey. Um, and we've had some wine, and I've had a burger, and I wasted, not wasted, I'm mean, just <laughs> Um, So, you know what, money well spent, I'm, I'm not gonna worry about feeling guilty. It's a waste of time and energy. I'm just gonna enjoy the night, enjoy the night with my girlfriends, and being kid free. All of us are kids free. On a frugal note, Georgie tried to smuggle a cheese plate to save money, which is banned. We got our bags checked. You see, we did, we did try to be frugal. Okay, so 
Okay, so last night I blew my weekday budget. I have no more money left to spend for the rest of the week. Um, there's no money for today, there's no money for tomorrow. It means I definitely have to come home and make myself lunch or pre-pack my lunch. Um, I, to be honest, didn't, wasn't, I hate midweek activities. I find them really stressful with kids. Um, that rushing to get them ready so that you can go out. And we, um, you know, me and my girlfriends, we all have kids and we were all stressing. But then when we got to the movies, we were so, we had so much fun laughing and catching up. Um, I drove and Tom very kindly came over and babysat Rocco. So I tried to keep it as frugal as possible. But when we got there, we found out we couldn't take food and we couldn't um, uh, bring alcohol. And Georgie, you know, even packed like a beautiful picnic of cheese and wine. So we couldn't even use that. So we just had to enjoy the moment. I had to pay and spend money, which was fine. I, and you know what? It was it was a bit of an extravagant night. I even ate a burger and two ice creams. And I don't even like ice cream. It was so delicious. And we laughed so hard. We had so much fun. Um, so you know what? Even though I blew my whole weekday budget um, and there is nothing left, um, I'm okay with that because it was all worth it. Now, on a different note, I also got my hair done. Um, by my hairdresser Brooke and she I've mentioned her in videos in the past she is so like such great value for money she only does blondes but she comes to my office or my home and for a full head of foils she charges $120 now it depends on what, what, what like what your average hairdressing cost is but most salons are you really picking your nose in a video no <laughs> Booger. Water. Yeah, it's not water, it's booger. Um, she is $120. She only does blondes, but most salons would charge between $250 up to five. Stop? Ooh, that's the booger finger. Um, $500. Ooh, uh, $500. So $120 stop. for every like eight to ten weeks. She's such good value for money and she's done a really great job. All right, so last night I didn't get home until really late. And as a result, I slept in. We we're actually running an hour and 40 minutes late. Now, normally I would be having a complete and utter meltdown and absolutely losing my, getting really frustrated. But I think as I caught my girlfriends last night and I had just so much fun laughing and just realizing I worry about all the same things that my girlfriends worry about and have the same challenges that they have, I'm just a lot more relaxed. And you know what? One of the great things about running an hour and 40 minutes late in the morning is there's going to be a lot less traffic. This is the cereal that I've been talking about. It's Herman Broth Protein Muesli. It is 47% protein and per serving 21.2 grams of protein and 7.7 .7 grams of carbohydrates of which only 2.2 are sugar so i have my bowl ready to go with milk and my fresh berries and this is my kind of brunch okay so do you guys remember how the other day i got a 50 dollars credit note from Woolworths because of the system glitch they had with the deliveries well i'm now going to actually use this savings and make account i'm going to try or withdraw 50 dollars cash from my everyday account to cover the savings created from this and i'm going to buy burritos for the kids for dinner because i've got um rocco's a couple of rocco's friends some karate coming over for dinner i'm going to try and see if i can get a really cost effective budget friendly um kid friendly healthy um, meal in with, it with this and grab a few extra things so thursday nights is pizza and karate night but doing frugal february we are not going out to pizza so instead I had Rocco's friends over for homemade burritos. Now burritos in my house is a very messy exercise and to be perfectly honest, I was so tempted to go with the mess free, um, convenient, quick um, option of going to pizza. I was really, really tempted just also because I'm exhausted. But I stayed true and honest to Frugal February and yes, there was an incredible mess left all over my kitchen floor and who knows where else um, it was actually really nice seeing the kids eating such healthy food like avocado and shredded zucchini and shredded carrot and cheese and tomatoes and like all these um, delicious vegetables and making their own dinner and they love getting their hands dirty and that creative element and sitting at the table all together and um, 
no, it was actually a really nice night. So I'm glad I stuck to that. But I have realized having that one night off where you don't cook a meal and you go to a restaurant and you let the kids eat pizza and it doesn't cost that much more is definitely a worthwhile investment. And I would never have got that insight without doing Frugal February. Anyway, on another note of gratitude, I took $50 out of the, um, when I did my shopping at Woolworths, used up my voucher, which was awesome. Um, and this is my $50 saving from using that voucher, which was kindly given to me by Woolworths from their IT glitch. So I'm popping it in here. And this is a, such a great feeling, um, knowing that I'm actually proactively putting this money away so I cannot accidentally spend it because we all experience savings of different levels and different types all the time. But we just happen to absorb them or see them evaporate because we just direct that, that savings towards a different expense. So this is going in right now. Anyway, while I go squeeze this in, I'm going to say goodnight because I am absolutely exhausted and I feel like I'm falling asleep right now. Okay, goodnight.